Alright guys, so welcome to your seventh tutorial and now that we basically created a custom URL, downloaded the data that we needed, and we saved it to a text file, the only thing that's really left to do is take that data, or excuse me, take that text file and insert it into a database. So we basically have to take this data and transfer it from this text file into a database. Now wouldn't it be really nice if there was just one little function that says, okay, take this data, insert it into a database. Well, it would, but there isn't, so we have to code it ourselves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a function called file to database, and what this function is basically gonna do is it's gonna take a com-separated file, which we happen to have right here, com-separated text file, and it's gonna throw it into whatever database we wanna tell it to. So we are already connected to a certain database which was I believe named YouTube so the only thing we needed to say is what table do we want to insert it in so this is going to take two parameters a text file because remember we're going to be downloading several different text files one for Yahoo one for Google one for Netflix say this is the one for Yahoo that is why we need to say okay use Yahoo's text file and insert it into Yahoo's table so we're going to be just uh you know worrying about those parameters whenever we are calling the function but for now I'm just going to name the text file text file and the table table name and let me go ahead and just give myself some space. I hate I hate it when everything's all on the bottom of the screen. All right, so we have two parameters we pass in in this file to database. The text file, which is basically what file do we want to use, and the table name of whenever we're creating tables in MySQL later on. That's the table name. So now the first thing we need to do is reference this file, this text file. So in order to reference a file in PHP, use the F open function. Now what fopen does is it basically you give it the path to a file. Now the path to the file is going to be passed in whenever we call this function later on in a variable called text file. And now the second parameter it takes is what do you want to do with it? And just go ahead and put R for now. I, I don't want to get into all this because I don't have time. If you want to know, then go ahead and watch my PHP tutorials. But it's basically saying we only want to read this file. So that's what we're going to be doing, reading the data from this file. So what we want to do is basically we're going to be treating each of these files, or excuse me, each of these is a separate line. On each line, we're going to be breaking it apart. This one and this one and this one and this one and we're gonna be picking apart this data and storing it in our table so we just can't say okay take all this dump it into our table because it doesn't know does this go in the first column the second row does this go in the eighth column ninth row so we kinda of need to break it up in a special fashion so let's go ahead and make a while loop so make a while loop just like that and what this is gonna do is it's gonna test it's pretty much gonna loop through this in entire file until it gets to the end and there's a built-in function called F EOF and what this does is it takes one parameter which is the file a file object and it basically loops through it until you get to the end of the file so that's what F EOF means it's something else that's built into PHP pretty dang awesome if you ask me. So anyways this loop is gonna run until it gets all the way to the end of the file. Pretty sweet huh? So what do we want to do as this is looping through the file? Well the very first thing we want to do is we want to grab each of these things line by line because if you notice each line is a different date so each of these lines we want to store in a different row in our table so how do we only pick one line from the file well let's go ahead and make a variable called line and set it equal to f gets and let me just go ahead and finish that and what it does is oh excuse me I got phlegm in my throat still go ahead and pass in this file object now okay I'm gonna have to get a little deep here what this does technically is it tests for the end of the file or the file pointer. The file pointer is basically this invisible cursor that goes along and it pretty much points to a certain point in the file.
So what f gets does is it basically takes that pointer, moves it to the end of the line, and returns this entire thing as a string. Just remember this. This loops through the entire file, and what f gets does is it takes a line from that file, a line of text, and it returns it as a string. So now this line variable right here is going to be equal to this the first time we loop through, this the second time we loop through, this the third time, so on and so forth. So remember, that's what line is equal to using the fgets function. So now what we want to do is we need to take that line of data and we need to break that up even more. We need to break it up into a date. Uh, let me see if I can remember this. Date, uh, open, high, low, close, volume, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we have this line of data right here. How do we separate this? Well, as we know, it's separated by these little commas, hence a comma separated file. So what we can do is we can use an explode function and <laughs> it may be kind of weird just me saying use an explode function. You're like explode a function? What the heck are you talking about? Do this first. Make a variable called pieces. See, I before E except F for C. Good enough. Pieces or prices, however you spell it, and call the explode function. Now, this is another function that you can do to strings, and it's basically it takes uh, two parameters. The first parameter is whenever you have a string, you want to separate that string into a bunch of different pieces, and those pieces are going to be stored in an array called this. So, what we're basically doing is taking a string of text and storing it into break it into a bunch of different pieces and storing it in an array and that array is going to be called pieces so you're saying okay you have a string of text what is the separator a comma every time you see a comma it's like a separate chunk so this is going to be a piece this is going to be a piece this is going to be a piece and this is going to be a piece so on and so forth and all of those pieces are going to be stored in an array called pieces so of course it says okay that is what you want to separate it by what string of text do you want to break up well that line string of text so basically what we're doing so far is this we're gonna be looping through this line by line and on each loop it's gonna be taking each of these individual elements and storing them in an array called pieces so pieces 0 is gonna be this pieces 1 pieces 2 pieces 3 so on and so forth and it's gonna do that and create a new array called pieces every single time until it gets to the end of the file so now that we have an array called pieces what we want to do is we want to take we pretty much are gonna pick apart this array and store the first piece in the database and you know what instead of me trying to explain it just wait to the next tutorial and just remember we have an array of you know several different elements now we need to store in a database so that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do in the next tour I know this is confusing but once I code it it's gonna be crystal clear it's gonna make a bunch of sense so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then